As we begin the Christmas season, we realize that this is the time when people are more inclined to share and to spend time with those they love, as well as help and support the charities they cherish. This is why today I'm going to tell you about the challenges we're facing and about how you can get involved and help us move into the future. Traditionally, Let's Adopt has been focused in rescuing extreme cases, animals that had severe injuries, animals that had chronic conditions that were out of reach for other charities, and animals that had suffered neglect to extreme that these animals were impossible to rehome. Now, we have been focusing on these animals for the past 15 years. For the last 15 years, you've seen us save animals that were iconic in a way, just because the injuries were so terrible that everyone else will have decided to euthanize them. We prove everyone wrong. Animals like Betsy, like Sky, like Richard, like so many others, went on, they moved on, they had wonderful lives, and they continue with us, having great lives in their families or at our two rescue centers if they finally stayed with us. Now, because of the current pandemic, we've been forced to refocus the way we work. First, we need to continue covering our red bills. This is very important. Many of our animals have had to stay at the hospital for months, and many of them, once they've been released and have moved on to the white house or the pink house, they still had to go back to the hospital for further treatment. Plus, we have animals like Duna that remain at the hospital. Uh, we also have cats that are constantly uh, going back to the hospital for adjustments in their treatments, etc. This all creates a massive vet bill for us. This is the first priority paying our red bills. Secondly, we have to focus on finding homes for the healthy animals that we have at our rescue centers. Now, traditionally, when we received critical animals in terrible conditions, we operated them, and we usually find homes for these animals fairly quickly. The problem is that over the years, we've had a number of healthy animals right now at the rescue centers that also need homes. In the last week alone, we have found homes for Duchess, for Queenie, for Simon, and for his brother Garfunkel yesterday. That was a great, great success. But the problem is that we cannot deliver these animals home. This is a big problem for us. We have animals that are due to go to the UK, to Holland, to France, to the United States, to Germany, to Switzerland. But right now, nobody can travel. So we are blocked, and these animals are taking a space that we can't use to rescue others. So this is a focus, and this is a big problem right now. And finally, we're focused on building new infrastructure in our two rescue centers and improving the infrastructures that we already have. We're building a new cat area for the kitties. We are making some improvements uh, in the White House. So this is what is taking all of our time right now. This is where our efforts are focused. We need to first continue uh, finding homes for the animals. We need to cover our bed bills. We need to deliver these animals and we need to improve the two rescue centers. Now, during this month, during the Christmas season, I'm going to be making appeals to you. I don't want to be shameless. I don't want to be appealing directly to your heart just because it's Christmas. This is a real situation. This is a real rescue with real animals that you all know. And this is a rescue that has been going on for many years. Many of you who are watching these videos. They, you know us for many years. Many of you know me personally. So here we are, the animals at the White House, at the Pink House need you. Help us continue saving lives. Please donate. Please become a recurrent donor. We need you. This is the month of Christmas. Join in. It's time to do it.